Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Tower of Life. This quest is considered novice difficulty and is medium length, about 20 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 10 construction. The required items for this quest include hammer, saw, regular beer, gloves, and 11 empty inventory spaces. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Ardoin Teleport or Draymond or Lunar Staff. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest, open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to the Tower of Life, which is located southeast of Ardoin. Easiest way to get there is by using an Ardoin Teleport and walking, or by using a Fairy Ring to code DJP. Once there, talk to Effigy. When prompted, say, sure, why not? Afterwards, talk to Bonafido, who is laying down by the front door of the tower. Next, talk to Black Eye and answer three questions correctly to receive a hard hat. The answers are three torn curtains and ten clay pieces. Now, talk to Gummy. He will say that he lost some trousers. Walk around the tower to the southeast. You will see three plants. Search the middle plant to find trousers. Talk to the guns. He will ask for a beer and will give you a shirt. Finally, talk to no fingers. Pickpocket him to receive the gloves. Once you have obtained the entire outfit, put it on and talk to Bonafido. You must answer some questions to gain access to the tower. Their answers are T. Whistle for attention. Your legs are getting a bit cold. And carry on, it'll fix itself. Now enter the tower. Your job now is to fix the different machines of the tower. All the items that are needed to fix the tower are on the first floor in crates. Search them to get the items. I've included an image of where to find each of the materials needed in the description below. To fix the first machine, you'll need four colored balls, three metal sheets, and four valve wheels. Once you have these items, head upstairs to the second floor. Left click on the pressure machine to the north to fix it. When prompted, select yes. Your job is to fill in the holes in the pipes with the balls and then increase the pressure of the water by using the levers and the valves. Click on the left side of the valve to make it turn left and click on the right side to make it turn right. I've included an easy answer guide for the pipes. Once this machine is fixed, head back downstairs. Pick up the following items. Six rivets, four pipes, and five pipe rings. Mm -hmm. 
Go to the third floor and fix the pipe machine, which is to the south. When prompted, select Yes. This puzzle is fairly simple. Just move the pipes in the correct locations as shown in the video. Select a pipe by clicking on it and then use the arrows at the bottom of the screen to move them. You will only have to rotate the largest pipe twice to get it to face the right direction. Once all the pipes are placed correctly, you have fixed this machine. Head downstairs to the first floor again and pick up five metal bars and four bottles of binding fluid. Once you have these items, go up to the fourth floor. You will now want to fix the broken cage. Click on the cage and when prompted, select Yes. In this puzzle, you will have to replace the broken metal bars. To do so, you must select whether or not that pipe will face horizontally or vertically. Then you must choose the size of the metal bar by using the plus sign. You then place the bars by choosing the Place Bar option. I've included an easy answer guide for the bars. When you have fixed the cage, go all the way downstairs and talk to Effigy outside. Once finished, go back to the top floor of the tower and a cutscene will occur. Afterwards, talk to Effigy again outside of the tower. Now go all the way back upstairs and talk with the homunculus. The homunculus will ask you various questions to push his mind towards logic or magic. A logic answer will move the arrow at the top of the screen to the right and a magic answer to the left, and a neither answer will not move the arrow at all. You must move the arrow all the way to one side or the other. If the arrow does not go all the way to the side, the questions will be repeated. The choice of logic or magic does not matter, so choose as you wish. I've included the answers to each of the 14 questions. When complete, talk to Effigy again and the homunculus will scare him off. Go back inside of the tower and use the trapdoor on the south side of the room to go down into the dungeon. Talk to the homunculus who is to the north to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 1,000 construction experience, 500 crafting experience, 500 thieving experience, and access to creature creation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.